This video is to introduce the various settings of Madrina Infusion Pump. Model name Unifusion VP50. This is the home page. There are six boxes on the screen. Modes, Settings, General, Patient, Records, and System. In last video, we have introduced modes. Next, let's look at other boxes one by one. Settings. We could set Drug library, KVO rate, bolus rate, IV brands, occlusion pressure, pressure unit, bubble size, pump idle alert, finish pre alarm, drop sensor, drop sensor level, micro mode, and reset total volume. First, drug library. The drug information can be found in commonly used and others. To add its drug library, select drug library maintenance and the password 3312. Here we can rename drug groups, for example, to rename others as ICU. Now the, now the drug group name has been changed. To add it individual drug, select drug groups. Then select the drug. We could add it the drug name, concentration unit, concentration, and other information listed here. At last, save the additive information. The second KVO rate. We can set the rate from 0.1 to 5 ml per hour. Bolus rate. The default bolus rate is the largest flow rate, 1500 ml per hour. You can set another bolus rate as needed. For example, 1200. IV brands. We could choose the brands of IV set under using. After choosing, the IV set brand will be shown on the title bar. We can store up to 20 brands of IV set into the system. Occlusion pressure. This model has three occlusion pressure levels, 300, 600, and 900 mm of mercury. We can select which level to trigger the alarm. Besides, occlusion pressure levels can be customized. Pressure unit. There are four different pressure units for choosing. Bubble size. In this setting, we can select the single bubble size or accumulative size that would trigger the alarm. For single bubble size, there are four there are seven different levels for choosing. Also, we can select accumulative time or accumulative sensibility. That would trigger the alarm. The pump provides multiple options for the professionals based on different patient population and different clinical situation. Pump idle alert. There are six different intervals for choosing. When the pump is not operated for a certain period of time, it prompts alert to remind the user. Finish pre-alarm. Choose the time that the pump gives alarm before the infusion is about to finish. Drop sensor. 
Drop sensor is an optional accessory to the pump. It helps to monitor the drip rate and the trigger alarm when it is empty reservoir. When drop sensor is in use, select drop sensor on. Drop sensor level. There are three levels for choosing. Micro mode. The purpose of a micro mode is to increase infusion safety by setting the limit of max flow rate used more often in neonates and pediatrics. We can select it on or off. By selecting on, set the max flow rate. By setting this number, the flow rate under the four infusion mode is not allowed to exceed 1000 ml per hour. Reset total volume. By selecting yes, the data of infused volume will be cleared. Now we have finished the introduction of settings. Next, let's take a look at general. The first item is date and time. Set the correct date and time and your preferred format here. Second, brightness. There are 10 brightness levels for choosing. Sound. There are also 10 levels of sound volume for choosing. Screen lock. Choose how long you would like to lock the screen from 15 seconds to 30 minutes. This is to avoid unintentional or improper operation. Night mode. Choose it on or off. When it is on, choose the night brightness and the time set for the night mode. Battery capacity display. By selecting it on, on the screen bar, it will show the remaining time that the pump can operate based on current battery power supply. The seventh item, nurse call. Choose it on when this function is needed. Nurse call alarm level. There are three alarm levels for choosing. The next item network. This is for setting the connection between the pump and other pumps, docking station and infusion management system. We have detailed instruction about the network connection. Please contact with us if required. Next, let's look at patient. This two page. In this two page, we can edit the basic information about the patient. Next is record. There are four items here. First, history entries. The pump can store more than 5,000 records of previous operation data showing days, time, infusion parameter and operation details. The data is first in, first out. Second, last therapies. The pump can store 20 records of last therapies. Choose either one. It jumps into the screen of infusion mode with all infusion parameters ready. Start infusion. This can save time for the users if they just need to apply the same infusion as previous infusion did. Third, export history records. 
The history records can be exported to computer by using a USB cable. Clear all records. Enter password 3312. All data of history entries and last therapies will be cleared. The last one is system. First language. There are eight languages in the display, but we have more than 12 languages available. Please check with us whether your language is available. Factory default. This item is rarely used by end users. Leave it to the service engineer when repair is needed. Version Here it shows the serial number, the software version, and the device version of the pump. Maintenance Enter password. There are different settings under this item. First, brand maintenance. We could add, delete, and calibrate infusion set brand. We will explain how to add a new infusion set brand and calibrate it in next video. Second, sensor information. Here we could find the current settings of different sensors and modules. Sensor calibration and memory information. Leave them to the service engineer when repair is needed. Brand select reminder. By selecting it on, the pump will ask the user to select infusion set brand when the infusion set is installed. Door detect. Select it on. The micro door detection sensor in the pump, inside the pump door will detect whether the door is well closed or not. If not, it will trigger alarm. Pressure information. Here we could find the pressure values. The last two settings are maintenance period and last maintenance date, where we could find the maintenance information about this pump. Now we have finished the introduction of various settings of Madrina infusion pump.